Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm going to cover a topic that was requested uh, in my last video. Um, R.M. Selig um, asked, what code do you change in the RCXML file within OpenBox in order to have your new windows centered in the screen? And I'm going to go through that with you right now. Now, Whenever I do an, an open box or really an LXDE install, um, there's a couple things I change in the RC XML file. I'm gonna go through that with you. Now, this, is a, this happens to be a Sparky Linux minimal install, which is a terrific distribution. Um, and to top it off, it installs the open box uh, window manager and it gives you um, a tint two panel uh, with a an updater and OB menu generator, the nice uh, right click menu with icons. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So it, within this Sparky Linux minimal install. Um, with OpenBox, I would change a couple things in the RCXML. Now I'm going to go through the centering windows because that is the that's the main topic within this video. So let's take a look. The RCXML file is located in your home folder under, and you have you have to enable hidden files. So. Click on view, make sure that show hidden files is checked off. Now these instructions will work with any open box or LXDE install. So if you open dot config, go down to open box, open that folder, and you can see the RCXML file. Now there is an LXDE RCXML file. If you were to install the LXDE desktop uh, on top of this, which some people do, uh, in order to make it a little bit more user-friendly, a little bit easier to modify, more graphic user interfaces, and less having to modify files. But uh, in this case, even if you have an LXDE install, in order to center new windows, you would have to modify the file. So let me show you that. Now, this is the uh, RCXML file. That's where it's located. I already have it open on my desktop. Now, what you'll need to do, um, if you go under, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this information in the notes. But what you'll wanna do is scroll down. When you open up RCXML, scroll down all the way to the end. Now, you see this little arrow where it's after end of the example, this little arrow here, um, you're gonna use that as a marker. And you're gonna paste this, I'm gonna copy it. You're gonna paste it just above the next to last line in your RCXML file. Now, the next to last line is applications. So you want to paste it right above applications. So if you put your cursor uh, right after that little arrow symbol and hit enter, you'll open up a space and that's where it goes. So now I'm going to right click and paste that in. So that's the way it should look. You don't want any blank lines. That's the way it should look. And then you are going to file and save. Now I'm gonna show you, before I save that, I'm gonna show you what happens now when I open new windows. So let's open a calculator. And I guess they don't give you, well, maybe it's under Office. Nope, doesn't look like they give you a calculator. So let's go with, um, 
another file manager window. See how it opened it in the lower right? The reason it did that is because there are other windows open and that's called smart placement. That's the default. It looks for an open spot on the desktop and that's where it places the window. So if I open LeafPad, you see how it went for the open spot. It's not perfect, but some people like it like that. I happen to not like it like that. I prefer to open the window in the center of the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and log back in and I'll show you what effect this had. I'll be right back guys. Okay, welcome back guys. Now, um, once you modify the file and save it and log out, log back in, <clears throat> your new window should open up in the center. Now let's test it out. Right click menu, let's go to uh, leaf pad, center of the screen. Let's go to file manager, center of the screen. Let's go to image viewer, center, and let's do one more. And there's the calculator. So as you can see, once you modify that file and save it, your new windows will open in the center of the screen. <clears throat> now the other thing that I noticed with the Sparky Minimal install is, out of the box, your keyboard keys do not function. And with Sparky, there is, and I'm talking about the keyboard volume keys. So. The, of course, the normal keys function fine. But the volume keys, when you press your up volume, down volume, or mute, it does not have the same effect on the actual volume. Now, within Sparky Linux, there is a mechanism. If you right-click the volume icon and go into Preferences, there you can set up your hotkeys. Now, you'll have to put a check mark in enable hotkeys and then what you'll do is double click each of these items the three audio mute raise volume lower volume if you double click it'll open up a window where you can press the key that you want to make that happen so I have um, mute unmute already set up but if I press control C to reset that, just to show you, <clears throat> I ha now have no uh, mute unmute key. If I double click it, and then I press my mute key on my keyboard, you can see that that's now the hot key for muting. You do the same thing with audio raise and audio lower. Once you click apply, your volume hotkeys on your keyboard will work to raise and lower and mute your volume down in the system tray. Now if you, uh, Sparky happens to make that available to you, but not every open box or LXDE installation uh, does that for you. If you're not able to, to use a, a GUI mechanism to map your hotkeys, there is a way in that same RCXML file, and let's open that file again. And I'm opening with LeafPad. Now let me open the instructions. You can modify this file. You've already done it to modify, to open your windows in the center. Now, in order to uh, take care of your hotkeys for your volume, let me show you how to do that. And you can see this file that I have LXDE volume keys. It's the same instructions. 
you can see that the instructions say add this code before the keyboard line. What you need to do, the easiest way, is to search for the keyboard. So what I do, copy this, and you gotta copy the brackets also. And then go into search, find, and then paste that in the box. And click find, you'll see it'll highlight it. What you'll do is paste this code right above that keyboard line. So what you'll do is put your cursor on the line before and create a space. Then you will copy all of this code into that space and then save. Now as I said you'll only do that if your distribution is not giving you a graphical user interface way of doing it. In this case Sparky has an easy mapping by right clicking the volume icon so I'm not going to change it. It's already set up. But if you don't have that then you can use that code and I'll, I'll give you access to that. Um, I think I'll probably give you a link to my GitHub so you can uh, download both of these files that, that show you how to do it. And then you just change your RCXML file and you'll have centering windows and you'll have volume keys on your keyboard that actually function. <clears throat> so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any other questions, just post them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, hopefully, I'll have an answer for your question. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.